Hello traders, it's Tomek here from Nikos Trading Academy and welcome in my weekly Forex forecast. Uh, so first pair is Swiss franc yen. This is weekly chart and uh, on the weekly chart we see that price is still uh, pushing up. But right now we have this stop. This pair is making new highs, so we don't have a uh, possible next resistance. So in this case, our last stop will be our uh, resistance. So what can happen? We see that price, of course, broke those previous stops, but uh, this might be just, you know, breakout. And we can have situation that price decide to retrace back to 36. We will get long one to three and price will again. Uh, try to go up to re uh, retest this or uh, we will get deeper uh, retracements because you know, this this trend is going for some time so we can also get uh, something deeper uh, on the weekly chart our weekly trend line is here okay so this is our zone where price whenever price retrace to this we can expect or bounce or breakout and then of course change of the direction uh, but if we go to daily uh, we will see that price currently um, almost touched the 36 uh, EMA. Um, so it's making for us, uh, per, this price is making for us long one to three right now. The thing is that we almost touched the 36, but there is also a little bit of the support um, on this level. Uh, as you can see here, this last spike with this previous stops. So for me, as long as this is holding, uh, I would still, I'm still more interested to buy. Yes, I don't, I wouldn't sell here. It's um, uh, right now too aggressive. So ideally, or we want to buy after breakout of this, or we want to sell after breakout of this, and then we trade in the bigger retracement. Daily support in this case will be uh, down here. Okay. So if we go to four hour chart, we will see more details. Um, so more details says, uh, they say us that we have here for our chart short one to three, but we are already know that this area here is the 36 EMA. We also see uh, that price make this um, maybe double bottom, something like that. Yes. Uh, so we are squeezed in this area. But like I said, there is still chance that we will see this. And then price will try to push down again to this resistance, so to this support, and still stays here. And then maybe we will get breakouts here or breakouts here. So whenever this happens, of course, we go for buy, go for sell. If price breaks right now, we switch to lower time frames. We try to buy, and of course, no, uh, we target the previous stop. Of course, not the highest point, a little bit lower. Yes, because. Um, Sometimes price is not exactly going to this uh, last uh, spike. Okay, uh, intraday traders, scalpers are still can take advantage of this uh, momentum on the lower time frames. Uh, so what you can do, you have uh, this line, and whenever price starts to break this line, you can go to five minute or fifteen, not even fifteen, five minute, one minute chart. Look for short scenarios after breakout and then your goal is, of course is this area of support which i mentioned before this okay um, and then of course you have previous bottoms and this uh, support zone okay so this is what you can do if you trade with the main direction only then you have to wait at least that price breaks in this level because you will trade with trade with the main direction here we can expect to maybe trend change okay so this is Swiss franc yen, uh, euro dollar. Euro dollar uh, finally uh, seems that uh, we have this breakout after this period of range. I didn't uh, analyze this pair simply because you know, there was no point. But right now seems that uh, we have this breakout. So let's go again to weekly chart and what we will see on the weekly um, that you know, we were around the resistance. Yes. Uh, also, resistance uh, was a little bit higher. Next level. Now price is pointing down the weekly chart to see that it's making strong candle. So this might be possible retracement to the 36 CMA or lower to the support zone. So if we mark the support zone, this will be our level and this might be possible retracement. So 36 uh, on the weekly or support area. Uh, so what we have on the daily this was our trend line, which was uh, broken. Also, price is breaking 36 EMA. We see uh, previously price was struggling. Now we have breakout. 
So, like you said, weekly 36, but in between, of course, we have we a daily uh, support zone, okay? So we go to four hour chart. Uh, we had first setup, which is which is aggressive. I don't like setup like, like this because it's a little bit too aggressive. Why? Because uh, no, now we see the future. So we say, okay, price went down. But generally when we have this setup, if you go to daily chart, this setup happened above the 36 CMA on the daily chart. So that's why I don't like this also situation. Here was situation that price was in this range here. Yes, you see this whole range here. So that's why I, I, I don't like something like this. So I prefer or wait for another breakout and breakout happened. And what, what you see, we had one hour chart, one, two, three. So this was good setup to jump in. Uh, if you trade on the one hour time frame, you had this and three stop loss. Okay. Um, or now we wait for the four hour chart retracement and we look for first setup after trend line breakout and also below the 36 on the daily. So right now, Euro dollar definitely is uh, to sell. Uh, so every single retracement, yes, uh, to the four hour chart, 36 CMA to the four hour chart trend line. Yes, we can delete this. Yes, so every single retracement, we want to sell one hour chart, wait for the retracement, lower time frame entry sell. So this is, this is what we have now. Okay, so sell scenarios and you have target from the higher time frames. Uh, GBP cat, uh, those are the lines from last week. So as you can see, price is, um, didn't develop much, uh, but uh, at least retraced and we are around our profit zone. Of course, uh, there is also support area, but I didn't mark it simply because uh, we, um, there is 36 CMA, there is a trend line. So that's why it's for me, it's obvious that, uh, this is good uh, area for price to make bounces or if we get breakouts then we have next target okay so if you go back again to weekly chart we will see that our resistance levels are higher still so there is still a room to go up uh, but now price stopped and if we get a breakout then we have the support 36 on the weekly and another support in case if price decide to retrace if not if price continues then of course we can go to the next area of the resistance so daily chart of course uh, keep in mind that everything here is late yes but still it's making for us um long one two three on the 36 ema so basically uh, or we want to buy yes here, whenever price bounce, our breakout, and then we sell target uh, support zone. So let's go to lower time frames to see uh, what uh, is happening right now. And you see that we are in the range. So we don't have much uh, for now, but at least we have this range. So it's very obvious what we can do. Whenever price, of course, breaks this, we know that we go in the main direction. So or you wait for the four hour chart setups or you wait for one hour chart setups here. Yes. And you try to buy this. And in terms of the sell scenarios, now this is not so perfect. It's only for the day trader and scalpers. Um, yes, because you see that we are on the 36 already so the only target which you have is this daily trend line but if you like you, you can try because this might be also a situation that you will get breakout yes and then price will stop here and for example make this deeper retrace and then you will get a good trade but this also might be a situation that price will break it stops here and then make this okay so keep in mind about that because the long scenario is still uh here on the higher time frames um if price first do this, okay, then you cancel this uh, range, you draw a trend line, okay, and then whenever price breaks the trend line, you look for possible buy scenarios to buy this, of course, above the 36 uh, EMA, okay? So this is GPCAT, uh, GBP US dollar. Uh, also here, we started to have momentum, as you can see, um, price, of course, bounce on the resistance. If we look for the weekly chart, uh, we last time we draw um, another level, yes, here and here. Now price is reacting. It's still not making for us, you see, a red candle here. We still have uh, white candles. If we compare it to Euro dollar, where Euro dollar started to make red candle. Um, so um, breakout is not confirmed yet for me. At least I would like to see that price is making setup below. Okay, now 
it's still not so obvious because this this might be false breakout and then we'll see this if this happens then we will get of course spike spike on the daily chart okay of course it looks for now very powerful and very nice yes you see that this daily candle is strong uh, but there is also, is as you can see here, area of uh, support on the daily. Yes? So those previous stops act as a support. So that's why I am not convinced yet. Um, so we will have to, so don't jump in too fast. Uh, if you have situation that price will give you setup, but not below, but for example here, then you can, you can treat this as a... Um, uh, intraday trading only. Don't treat this as a swing trading yet. Okay, swing trading. Uh, treat uh, about after breakout of this. Okay, because then we can have really possible continuation. If we get set up here, this still might be intraday because price will go and maybe retest this or maybe create higher low and still might continue to go up with the daily and weekly mo uh, momentum. Okay, so keep in mind about that. Uh, if we go to one hour chart, uh, also here, we if we decide to look for short scenarios, which are okay because now we have this uh, momentum, one, two, three, yeah, then you can look for short scenarios and target, of course, this uh, support zone. So this is still possible, but right now they day trading scalping to manage trade faster. Um, and if, like I said, if this is false breakout and price starts to, you know, um, go up, then you can look for buy still and target this. But right now it's difficult for me to um, build some scenarios to go up. But definitely it will be nice to see the 36 is going up. Four hour chart is struggling here. Then, if possible, to draw some trend line and after trend line breakout, look for buy uh, scenarios. This would be perfect uh, situation, but we will see. Uh, definitely, after breakout of this, you can try to sell it. Uh, USDN, USDN weekly chart. Uh, we are still in the situation that price just is squeezed here in this area of course we know that on the monthly chart we have this huge monthly long one to three so price can uh, easily continue with this monthly momentum if we have it this trend line uh, is uh, weekly trend line is here so that's why i draw this this will be from the daily chart yes this this small line but you see the situation right now okay daily chart uh I pick up uh, again USDN because simply after a period of range retest right now, again, we have momentum. Uh, you see that price is started to go up. We also have this trend line. So lower time frame entry target, this resistance is, is very nice. If price breaks this, of course, we can look for next area of the resistance uh, up here. Let me just check if, yeah, this is the right one. In between, we also have this. Area, okay. Uh, so we go to four hour chart. Right now, price is you see pushing up. So we can look for lower time frame scenarios. So you wait for the one hour chart retracement, then you look for buy scenarios. Okay. Um, this is option number one. Option number two, you wait for the four hour chart. Yes, you wait for the four hour chart, one to three, ideally back to the 36 EMA. You look for buy scenarios. A new target resistance. So this is what we have on the USDN. If price if 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 price won't continue, but we will go down again. I wouldn't touch this pair uh, because um, we still can have higher lows. But uh, uh, again, I will be confused uh, about this pair. Okay. Now momentum seems to be clear. So if we have continuation, then definitely we can look for uh, buy scenarios to target uh, this. And the last is gold, and gold, um, it's still around the same uh, story. Yeah, it's nothing really changed here. Weekly chart, uh, we are still struggle around this uh, round uh, level. Yes, there is still resistance higher, but you see how price is struggling right now. Daily also, okay, everything is pointing out, but there is no clean situation right now. If we go to four hour chart, also, four-hour chart is up and down, up and down. So basically, um, this is our trend line. I'm not a great fan right now uh, to trade gold. Uh, no, if you really want to trade, uh, what can I say? Daily chart is pointing down, but we are close to the 36 CMA. 
uh, 4-hour chart is pointing down and 1-hour chart is making funny 1, 2, 3. So if you are a scalper day trader, you can use this and try to look for the 5-minute, one 1-minute one entries, target previous bottom, and un uh, and if price breaks this, then you can ta uh, target that. That's all what I see here, guys. Yeah, uh, so... Um, I'm not great fan. Definitely, maybe after breakout of this or breakout of of that, then we go and buy this target previous top. Here we try to sell and we target this support zone. But right now, like you said, no. Previously, we had very very nice momentum on gold. Here we have here. Yes, we have here. Okay, but right now you see prices going up and down. There is no clean scenario. So that's why. Even if we have breakout here, you need to be careful because if we have nice momentum, it's different when we have breakout because we can expect a smooth continuation. If we have situation like this, we cannot expect this, but you can always lower your risk and try to even try to take the trades to participate in case if price really wants to continue. Okay. So guys, that's all. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Uh, wish you all great uh, Saturday and uh, hear you soon. Bye.